Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Temporal Forces deck video, and today we're going to actually look at Ancient Box. Now, I have not done a video on Ancient Box yet, and I've gotten a lot of requests to play it when I'm streaming, and I really wanted to get around to trying it out, because I was very high on this deck uh, before Temporal Forces came out. It was actually the first deck I built IRL um, before rotation, because I was able to collect all the cards from pre-releases, but I haven't done a video on the deck yet, but I think it's time we try the deck out. Now, this is my current list that I am actually playing for Ancient Box. Now, I know EUIC is going on right now, and there's actually going to be a couple Ancient Boxes in Day 2 that we are going to be able to look at, um, but for now, this is my current take on Ancient Box, and uh, basically the idea of the deck is obviously Roaring Moon is your main attacker, and I did a video on this Roaring Moon with the Roaring Moon EX. That was a pretty good deck, and actually that deck made top 8 at EUIC. Boom, what a broken deck. But the other way to play the Roaring Moon is, of course, combining it with Coridon. Now, Coridon does have that attack, Primordial Beatdown, that does 30 damage for each of your Ancient Pokemon in play. So if you fill up your entire board with Ancient Pokemon, you can swing for a big chunk of damage, being 180 damage. Now, unfortunately, you're probably not going to have a full board of Ancient Pokemon in play, and that's because of Radiant Greninja. Now, my main issue with Ancient Box, and one of the things that puts the deck together is actually the Radiant Greninja. It is by far the most important card within the deck. It does have concealed cards, which allows you to discard an energy and draw two cards. This deck does not have a draw engine. Because of the combos we have to play, we can't play an actual draw engine in the deck like a Bibarel, a Dunsparce, a Pidgeot, Curlia, nothing like that can fit in here because we need to fit so many ancient cards in the deck for Roaring Moon's Ventral Fletching that does 70 plus 10 more damage for each ancient card in our discard pile. And also, Radiant Greninja, not only is it the best way to draw cards, it also synergizes really well with Professor Sada's Vitality, one of the most important cards in the deck, allowing you to accelerate energy to your ancient Pokemon. Sada does allow you to build up Roaring Moon and Coridon in a single turn. And uh, the nice thing about the deck, too, is all of the ancient cards. So we have the four Roaring Moons, the four Coridons, the three Fluttermane, the one Slitherwing. Earthen Vestal is an ancient card, too. Obviously, Awakening Drum, the ace spec card, is also within this deck. That is also going to be an ancient card. And there's Explorer's Guidance, which is also an ancient card. And on top of that, there's Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, which is also an ancient card. So we have a ton of ancient cards within the deck for Roaring Moon, because in the late game, Roaring Moon can do some pretty big damage. But before we do get in the video, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG, of course. If you're going to get any Pokemon TC Live pack outs, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Council's code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking to pick up any sets, like Temporal Forces or an older set, or you want to get some IRL product and singles to card cabin sells, all that over there. If you get anything at card cabin at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out card cabin. Shout out card cabin, check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, check out the second channel down below for some extra content too. Um, like I said, there should be a new video on the second channel where we're going to look at every single deck that made day two at EUIC. And you don't want to miss out on the other video I just posted on the second channel where we looked at some brand new cards that got revealed. A new Ace spec, a new Palafin EX, a new Dragapult EX. Looking pretty broken. Check it out in the second channel. Link down below. So here is the Ancient Box 60 that I am going to be playing today. Um, this is like kind of the, the 60 I've been rocking with for a while. I've made a few changes since I've last played it. One of the big innovations I've actually added to the deck is the Pokestop. So Pokestop is something that I've seen. I was big on Artisan. Um, the problem with Pokestop, Pokestop sometimes either gives you good cards or it discards good cards. So it's like the card is very hit or miss, and I was not a fan of it at first, but a lot of the lists I saw to UIC on stream, they were playing it, and I'm like, okay, maybe Pokestop is worth trying out. It's not a bad card. It does discard cards from the top of your deck, which can mill ancient cards for Roaring Moon, but it also does allow you to get all your items, like, you know, your Nest Balls, your Poke Gears, to find your supporters. We do have a Palpat and Double Soup Rod in the deck, so even if Pokestop gets rid of some important, you know, cards, we can always get them back with those two cards. Now, there is one other big card in the deck. You might be a little confused why this is in here, and that is Cobalion. Now, Cobalion does let your basic Pokemon do 30 more damage to your opponent's active dark Pokemon. The main reason why we're playing this is because of Charizard EX, which is probably one of our hardest matchups. Charizard does have 330 HP, even with every ancient card in the deck. Roaring Moon does struggle to do 330 damage, and uh, that's where we have the Cobalion. Cobalion just allows us to swing against Charizard a little bit harder. We can use it in the late game. We have the double Super Rod. Even benching it early on sometimes isn't bad if we want to two-shot the Charizard a bit easier. The Cobalion is just kind of necessary in my opinion. I don't know if it's, like, needed, but I do like having it in the deck. It does make your Charizard matchup a little bit better because you can hit higher numbers 
with Roaring Moon. Another big card I'm a fan of is Dark Patch. Just another way to get energy into play. It's actually really good against Iono. If you have a handful of supporters, but you have a Dark Patch, you can Dark Patch to the Bench Roaring Moon and then Sada, and then you have two Roaring Moons powered up in one turn. So if you were to get Ionode, you at least have another Roaring Moon for backup. So I like having the Dark Patch in the deck. Just more energy acceleration, in my opinion, is important because this deck's biggest Achilles heel is always going to be Iono. So you want to make sure you have out to Iono. Um, and that's the it. That's it for the list. Um, I've seen builds using Great Tusk. More Slitherwing could be optional. For Fluttermane has also been something I've seen. I find Fluttermane to be kind of useless, so I never really get a lot of value out of Fluttermane, but it isn't a terrible card either. I am playing three of them. But let's go show off the Roaring Moon Ancient Box deck here with Coridon. See in action and see what this deck is all about. All right, get in this game. Uh, Not the best starting hand ever. We have only one basic. We see an Entei. All right, we'll see what this is. Um, I'm going to have to quickly Vessel here. Check our prizes. Um, let's see. Greninja's in there. All right, well, here we go. We're gonna have to roll the Pokestop, I think, because we need to get a, we need to get something like a Nest Ball or a Pokegear or something for next turn. Okay, we got Pokegear. Now we gotta hope we don't get donked. So this could be Gouging Fire, which means there's a chance they could knock me out. This could be, uh, Charizard, which we'll see if we can beat. We got the Ancient Booster Capsule, so we'll see if they can knock me out. I mean, it's possible if they're playing, like, Gouging Fire... There is a world where my opponent can get the turn one knockout on my Coridon. And it looks like it is an Entei. Yeah, it looks like they're playing some kind of firebox style deck here. Squawkabilly 2. Okay. If they're playing like Entei Valiant, it should be okay. I uh, It's not that bad, I don't think. We just need to make sure we don't have these bricky hands. But matchup should be okay. All right, there's the Vessel. Yeah, Entei is not too scary. Thankfully, it's kind of easy to one-shot in the later half of the game. Okay, if they're just playing, like, an attacking Entei deck, Coridon should survive the turn. There's Gouging Fire. They do discard a Sada, though, which is good. That's one less Sada we got to deal with. Shiyu. Ooh, the Shiyu. They're not going to go into Shiyu this turn. Surely, they're not going to go into Shiyu. As the game is breaking right now, my opponent... Okay, hurry up. <laughs> Don't break on me today. No, they got the stadium bump. That could be annoying, actually. Because I kind of wanted to try to dig for more, like, ball cards. It's not good. My opponent just kind of has the nuts in hand. Where, like, why can't I get these hands, bro? My hand's trash. Where's my good hand? Oh, my God. The game's, like, breaking on us, dude. Stop, TCG Live. Work, please. Don't do this to me today. Uh, hello? Okay, there we go. Hopefully this game wants to function. This is not good. My opponent could still donk me if they have a, like, gouging fire play available to them. We'll see. There's a heavy ball. Our Valiant. Okay, they could bench that. They can hit me pretty hard here if they want to attack. Ooh, they might actually be going in with Shiyu here, which is actually interesting. If I fill my board up with ancient Pokemon, which is very unlikely, I could... Attack and kill the Shiyu. Okay, they're just going to pass. All right, no turn one attack. Double Poke Gear. We need at least one supporter. All right, we got a Sada. It's not enough, though. I'd rather get Explorer's Guidance here, probably. And we get no supporter off that. So we're going to have to... We're forced to Sada and hope that I can get some basics. Okay. We got an Ultra Ball. We have Pokestop 2, which is good. Penguin Ninja... I mean, at this point, it's probably fine to get Greninja. I need to just chain cards here. All right, it's concealed. See, we got. Okay, there we go. We got the Roin Moon. Um, do I dare play the Pokestop? I'm trying to think if it's worth it. Actually, it might not be worth it, but I am looking for some more Nest Balls here. So I'm just gonna roll it. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna play the Vessel. There's nothing to get rid of. Okay, bad Pokestop. <laughs> We're doing a whopping 60 damage to this Entei. Not fantastic, but at least we are getting some damage on it. And we got rid of their Basin, but they probably have another Basin in their hand. We don't have a good follow-up for next turn. No other Sada, no Explorer's Guidance. That's why I wanted to play was an Explorer's Guidance, because I can see more cards. Ooh, boss. And then he killed my Roaring Moon here. That's annoying. Not like this. Not my Roaring Moon, bro. Hmm. It's not good. Okay, we'll see we top deck first. Anything good? Countercatcher. It's a pretty good card. Uh, oh, man. 
I guess we're vesseling away, boss. I don't have a lot of energy left, so I have to be very careful. We're going to have to play the Super Rod. So I'm going to Concealed first. There we go. Nice. Perfect. And we'll play the Explorer's Guidance. Hmm. I definitely want the Sada. I kind of want the Super Rod. Um. Yeah, I kind of want the Super Rod, too. I think we... I mean, I'm definitely not killing the Entei this turn. They might not have another boss. I'll take these. I want the Super Rod to make sure I can keep up the energy chain. All right, we're looking for a Nest Ball. I have not yet seen a Nest Ball. Still no Nest Ball. Okay. Where are my Nest Balls at? <laughs> what? Okay, well... Sure, I guess. Uh, I guess we could get Iono. We might as well play the Super Rod. Get these back. I'm only doing 60. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, this is not a great showcase. I cannot find any Nest Balls to save my life. We are doing a lot of damage now with Roaring Moon, though, which is good. So we can counter catch her here. I could bring in the other Entei. They do play a lot of Switch, though, probably, in Jets. I mean... I could bring in the Gouging Fire. To be fair, we don't really care about counter catching, so I think we just hit the active and just hope they don't knock me out. If they have another boss on my moon, it's going to be a little annoying. So hopefully they don't have another boss on my moon here. Alright, they have seven cards. Can they find a boss? Hopefully not. They do have access to, like, four seal stone, though, so... <laughs> I don't like my odds, but we'll see. There's the basin. Okay, that's fine. I mean, the Pokey Stop is nice to have because it's, it's good to try to dig for Nest Balls. But I haven't seen a single Nest Ball all game. I've went through over half my deck and still not a single Nest Ball. But whatever. As long as my opponent doesn't KO me here, it should be okay. They could vacuum to knock me out. And oh my god, they had a second boss in hand. No, dude. Stop it. Not my Roaring Moons. It's fine. That's fine. We got another Super Rod. This would be a great time to actually draw the Nest Ball. Because then I can... I want to be able to get value out of the Sada. I don't want to just Sada to Coridon. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Um, honestly, it might be better just to dig for the Explorer's Guidance. Or we don't get an Explorer's Guidance. Okay, never mind. Concealed cards. There we go. I was going to say, it was probably better to explore here. There's all of our Nest Balls. <laughs> oh my god. It's ridiculous. I actually cannot believe it took me that long to find a Nest Ball. But at least we're getting stuff in play. Hmm. I don't have a knockout. I am one Pokemon short. That's unfortunate. I'm only doing 90 damage. Pretty bad. It's fine. We're gonna... Palpad, get double Sada. I was hit for 90, I guess. Not great. They still can't knock my active out. Now, what are the odds they have a third boss's order here? There's no way they have a third boss, right? No shot they have a third boss. That'd be pretty bad. To be fair, then they would probably be out of boss's order. Unless they're playing Pelpad 2. I'm not sure. They could have Prime Catcher, of course. Actually, no, they're playing Maximum Belt I Light. Okay, no boss. They can kill me with Gouging Fire, probably. Um, Honestly, I think we can still very easily win this game. We can just attack three times with Moon, and we probably win. Honestly, it's not even that bad. It would have been nice to KO the Entei there, but... Like I said, we struggled to find basics this entire game. We went through, like, basically, like, most of our deck until we even found Nest Ball. But this is not bad. We can kill the Gouging Fire here and kind of figure it out. We're not in a bad spot, I don't think. We are doing a lot of damage here with Vengeful Fletching. We still have Counter Catcher live. It's all Gucci. Yeah, we're doing 200, so we can take a KO. So the question is, I do want to get another Roaring Moon back in the deck here. So I'll make sure I'm doing enough. We have Vessel Explorer. Okay, this is fine. We'll Super Rod. Get back Moon. Double Dark. And we'll Sada. All right, see what we got. Anything good? Yeah, there we go. Okay, sick. So we'll attach. I think we need a Vessel here. Yeah, I got a Vessel. Weigh the Explorer's guns. It's fine. Still have a decent amount of resources that can be good, so that's nice. All right, knockout. And this is where the comeback begins. Now we just need to make sure we're attacking every single turn. That's the objective. All right, let's see what our two prizes are here. Another Guidance and a Nest Ball. 
Okay, it's not bad. They can attack with Radiant Zard here. That's like the only issue. They have Radiant Zard, so we need to be cautious of that. Still have Counter Catcher still, so we have double Counter Catcher to get around like the Radiant Zard. That's the plan, so they're definitely going to go Radiant Zard this turn. It would have been really good to KO the Entei earlier on in the game, but like I said, we were unable to find a single basic, basically, so. Ooh, Delphox. Is that ever an issue? Probably not, right? I mean, they're not taking any prizes with Delphox. So it's not that bad. All right, let's see what they got. Let's see. Experience share onto the Delphox. Hmm, well, they base it on the Delphox, which means they're probably not going Radiant Charizard here from the looks of it, which is very interesting. All right. We just need to find Sada the following turn. So we probably have to play the Explorer's Guidance. So we'll be a little mindful of our resources here. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not really scared of the Delphox. I'm not going to bench anything, obviously. We're not going to walk into it. Okay. So it's going to go Entei. They have to go Radiant Zard next turn, right? That's their plan. They have to go Radiant Zard. Bravery Charm. Ooh. That doesn't really matter anymore. Okay. So we need to just make sure we can Sada next turn. Now here's where things get a little awkward. My opponent, I, ideally we just draw Sada here. Drawing Sada would just be perfect. Nope. So the awkward thing about playing the Guidance here is if I draw Sada and they Iono me, we could get a pretty bad hand, which is the issue. Let me, hold on, I'm gonna go to Limitless. Now, yeah, let me look at this deck real quick because I they might be playing the list at one. I need to know, do they play an Iono? There should be an Iono. There's two Iono in the deck. Oh, boy. Oh, we have three Sadas still. Now nah, we're chilling. We have three Sadas. Honestly, I don't even think I play the Guidance then, because <laughs> the off chance I lose all my Sadas. That could be pretty depressing. But if I don't get Sada off the top deck, we're in trouble. Because I imagine we're going to get iono here. What are the odds all three Sadas are going to be in the hand? That's kind of risky, dude. I'm not going to lie. Because we're going to be in top deck mode, which is the only issue with this play. But they're definitely going to Iono me. There's no way they're not going to Iono me here. But what if we don't get Ionoed? If we don't get Ionoed, we might just lose, to be honest. Okay, I think I got to go for it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, that's good. And we'll knock out. All right. So we have counter, we need counter catcher or Sada. We have game in hand. If my opponent does not play an Iono here, we do have game in hand. Let's see what we got off the prizes. Anything good? Nope. More basics. That would have been nice earlier on in the game. The only reason we ever, we would lose this game is probably because we were never able to kill that Entei earlier on in the match. That's the issue. We were barely, we were doing like 60 damage to it a turn. That's, if we're going to lose this game, it's because that friggin' Entei survived way too long. Gotta be mindful of Shiyu, but it's not gonna matter. They're gonna win in two turns anyways. They can't deck me out this turn with Shiyu. Okay, so my opponent has to go Zard. They have to Iono here. I probably... I maybe should have bent Slitherwing. But they could... Yeah, I should have bent Slitherwing. I, I imagine they're out of Gust. Yeah, I should have bent Slitherwing. That was a misplay. It was a misplay not to bench Slitherwing here. Alright, let's see what they got. Do they have an Iono? Oh, they don't have Iono. Okay, and that's game. All right, they did not have the Iono after all. Look at that. Close one for sure. My opponent did not get the Iono to close the game, it looks like. And we are going to win here by the skin of our teeth. By the skin of our teeth, we're going to pull out a dub. Yeah, we had Counter Catcher Sada. We, it was going to be down to getting the energy, basically. Um, but there we go. Ventral Fletching for 290 damage. Cooking that Delphox for breakfast. Interesting. That that got really close. Like I said, we had a very horrible like early game. It took us it took us like a while to even get set up and get rolling. Um we literally just couldn't find a nest ball. We went through more than half of our deck before we even saw one single nest ball. So we had some pretty awkward luck that game. We still pulled through because once, you know, kind of you get into the late game with this deck, Roaring Moon starts to do a ton of damage, and then you can as long as you're chaining moons, it's perfectly fine. All right, ooh, we see a Vulpix. Oh, this might have a Noivern in the deck. Oh, please don't tell me against Ark Noivern. That would not be good. That uh, is not a good matchup for us. 
They don't play the Roaring Moon or anything. If they have Noivern, we're cooked. If they're not playing Noivern, then you know what? I think we have a chance of maybe doing something. Our start is not fantastic, though. We are going second, so we can try to get an Explorer's Guidance, at least, which gives us a little bit of an advantage. Just a DT on the Vulpix. Ooh, and a pass. All right, let's see what we top deck here. All right, Pokestop. We'll start the turn off with the Pokestop. And immediately lose our Radiant Greninja. That's nice. It's fine. We got Guidance here. Save the Super Rod for next turn. Or after this. Okay, we grab these two. Grab these. Grab these, yeah. I mean, the Countercatcher would be good if they had the, the Noivern, but... I do want to get Greninja back, so I kind of want to do this. It's kind of my plan. We can Super Rod here. We can get reading Greninja back into play. Try to draw some more cards here. They might have Vulpix Energy in hand, which is kind of an issue for us. We don't really care about the Fluttermane, though. It's not really a good attacker. Okay, we got this thing ready to go, I guess. Hmm. That was pass. All right. Not the greatest turn, but we got somewhere. We got, got, got the Explorer's Guidance. Greninja's in play. My opponent does have seven cards. Now, he didn't get an Arceus down. Ooh, Lost City. That is very annoying, actually. That's not good. I can uh, lose my Fluttermane now. Do they really just have it like that, bro? No way. Oh, man. Yeah, if they have Noivern, this is tough. We need to basically make sure we can boss the Noivat. I mean, if we deal with the Noivern, it's honestly perfectly fine. I can't really do much about it if I can do a Noivern. I need to get rid of this Poke... I need to get rid of this Lost City, though. Uh, this is bad, because now I'm doing less damage with Roaring Moon, because my Ancient Pokemon are going Lost Zone, and not in my discard pile, which is not fueling eventual fletching. Which is pretty bad for us. If they have a boss in hand. They can kill my Greninja. Do they have a water energy, though? They may not have a water energy. That's kind of what we're banking on here, is they don't have a water energy in their hand. Do they have it like that? No, they have to Iono. Okay, that's fine with me. New hand of six is decent. We got a good hand? Yep, it's not bad. I'll take it. We need to find boss, like I said. If they have Noivern, we need to make sure we kill that Noibat as soon as possible. Did they get a water? If they whiff water, this is decent. Um, so we can attack with the Slither Wing if they with Water Energy. Honestly, if they... I actually don't mind if they knock me out. Then I can get Counter Catcher active again. They didn't get a Water Energy. Okay, wow. Okay, what's our top deck looking like? Another Flutter Main. All right, so... Let's do this. A lot of Energy prized. Ow. A lot of Energy prized. Jeez. It's not good, actually. Uh, we're very limited on how much energy we have. We do have the counter catcher, two stadiums, and the boss. Three, four, six energy in the deck. Jeez. It's not amazing, but okay. Okay, I'm hoping to get rid of this lost city. Nice. Okay, so... Not really a reason to build up the flutter main. So let's just do this. Sada. Get some energy around the board. Okay. More stuff is good. We'll Vessel, Coridon away. Bench. I'm trying to think where I want to put this booster capsule. I don't even want to attach an energy knowing I prize so many of them. I guess I I can retreat and attack with the Slitherwing to do 120 damage to two-shot the Vulpix to put some pressure on it. But if they bench an Arceus, I kind of want to make sure I can one-shot the Arceus V. Um, I guess I'm not really scared of Arceus V-Star, though. Do I just retreat Fluttermane? I don't really care if they knock me out, in all honesty. To retreat or to not retreat? Nah, you know what? I think it's fine to retreat. It's fine. Yeah, whatever. Let's just do it. Try to two-shot them. Well, they're not even mentioning any Pokemon anyway. So I was like, well, if you're not going to mention any basics, then I'm just going to eventually knock you out. And we'll go from there. And they can activate Counter Catcher if they knock me out here. And then we can get access to the ability to kill that Noibat if it ever comes down. Assuming they play it. So yeah, I think that's fine to just go so they're weighing. I also don't want them to take too many prizes. If they do prize the Noibat, it is good to have it. They have a vacuum. No. My ancient booster capsule. Damn, that's annoying. Maybe I should have rolled the... Oh, actually, they go to the Pokestop. Interesting. Ooh, and they had a research. 
They had it like that. Uh oh. Maybe I should have rolled the Pokestop. I didn't want to mill boss, but I think I should have. I should have rolled the Pokestop last turn. That was a misplay not to do that. Yeah, I should have rolled the Pokestop. That's my only other Pokestop, unfortunately. Do they have a Noibat here? I'd be very surprised they didn't get a Noibat. Yeah, there's Ultra Ball. If they get this Noibat, we could be in trouble. Yeah, I should have. I maybe should have rolled the Pokestop. Should have rolled the Pokestop there. Oh, God. Because now they're going to get a Noibat, and if I don't counter it, we just lose. Ooh, they got a Super Rod, though. That's good. Now if I knock a Noibat, they can't get it back. Which gives us a line to win the game. Oh, no, Noibat. Okay, all right. If they're just grabbing Arceus, I really don't care. Do they have a Lost City? That'd be pretty annoying they had a Lost City. They ain't got no Lost City, though. I'm calling Bluff. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, thankfully no Noibat, which is good for us. We're going to be tied on prizes if I knock him out, though, but once we find boss, it's okay. We did prize so many energy, though, which is kind of a problem for us. Okay, we'll see what our top deck is. Explore's Guidance. I could play that, actually. Instead of doing Sada. No, I think it's correct to Sada. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's okay to Sada here. Get two moons built up. Nice. Attach that there. Attach. Now I'll just knock him out. Just gonna hold the hand. Not gonna play the Nest Ball. Um, I don't want to mention another Roaring Moon and have it like get like boss stalled or something. I don't know. They didn't even get an energy last turn, so we're not really being threatened. All right, we did get an energy out of the prizes. That's good. I was hoping so because we did prize some energy. So that's two, four, six, seven. All right. Yeah, they don't got much going on here. We can kind of just run them over. There's a Judge. Okay, I saw that coming. I figured they were gonna like judge me or Iono me again. Let's see what we got. Ooh, not a great hand, but they got nothing else. They still have their V-Star power. They probably have RCS V-Star. That was a good top deck. Nice. Don't want to play Artisan, obviously. Give him a free Noibat. Okay, cool. Explorers Guidance. We will take it. We'll take these. All right, all right. We're cooking, bro. Not bad, not bad. Uh, do I have a knockout? 200. Hmm, no knockout, but we are able to hit pretty hard here, which is good. We're two-shotting them. So now if my opponent basically doesn't get an RC's V-Star, I just have the knockout. And uh, I think we're going to win the game. They may not even have an arc here. I mean, judge four cards down to Ultra Ball, they could whiff the V-Star. It's possible. They might have to dig for it with a supporter. If they don't have it, we're chilling. We have boss in hand, too. Okay, well, that, that's a pretty good judge. And they did have the Noivern, so their Noibat definitely was prized. Nice. Their Noibat was 100% prized. Now they're down their Noivern and their Super Rod. I don't think we ever have to worry about Noivern again, which is good. That's really annoying, though. They had Lost City and a Research. That was a pretty good judge. I mean, sometimes judges give you the best cards you can be looking for in a single turn. Thankfully, we got Artisan in hand, so we can get rid of this Lost City, and then we don't have to worry about it again. Should be chilling, though. How much energy have they played? Just one water. We just have to get through two RCSV stars, and we win the game. So I think we'll be okay. I think we can squeak out a dub here. They're really trying to limit how much damage I can do, though, with these Lost Cities and Vacuums, but it's not a big deal. I guess they needed that to knock me out, actually. I just realized they didn't even have a KO. I just assumed that was dead, but actually, no, they did need the Vacuum. Kind of forgot about the HP boost. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm I think I'm 20 off. Um, I want to be able to boss KO that Arceus on the bench. I don't think I can. Not this turn, anyways. I think I'm just short on a KO on the bench to Arceus. Hmm. It's fine. They're out of vacuum. So we'll see if they can even kill this next moon. Never mind. That's a knockout. All right. Let's go do this. Get rid of that annoying thing. Let me just search my deck real quick. See what we got. Make sure I'm not overthinking. Okay. We still have a super rod. Pow pad. Okay, cool. Play the awakening drum. And then... Uh, I don't have a knockout now in the RCs. Okay, we'll just Poke Gear, grab Sada. Let's kill the active. It's fine. We can probably work towards a one shot next turn. That's the plan. So let's Sada. Nice. Get rid of these Coridons. Pretty useless at this point. Thin this out. Basically, just trying to play around an Iono. Yeah, we're doing 240. Uh, get rid of those. Just thin a little bit. 
and take the knockout. All right. Let's see if my opponent can do anything now. My opponent needs to be able to get this Arceus attacking this turn with another energy. Speaking of energy, we got that prize, which I did need another energy. Um, I needed that. Okay. Let's see if they can knock me out. Okay, they got the water. Never mind. I was like, eh, maybe they, maybe they have to play a double turbo. We'll see if they got anything they can do here, though. It's not looking good for my opponent. We need to just do a little bit more damage and we win the game. They need a V-Star and an Iono here. Yeah, they need a V-Star and an Iono. They're out of... They're down a lot of supporters, but they still have a ton of Ionos. Potentially a second judge. We'll see if they find this V-Star. Okay. V-Star knockout plus Iono would be bad. We have time, though. We do have time to still come back. We just need to kill this RC as we win the game, and uh, we're doing quite a bit of damage right now, I want to say. So, it's doable. Do they have the Iono too? Yep. It's fine. I don't think we can draw the win off the, I off the Iono. Well, maybe we can. If I get Explorer's Guidance... I know there's one at the bottom. I can explore his guidance super rod. And if I get an energy, we should be able to do 280 damage. As long as they're not playing like a third vacuum or something silly. I don't think they are. And they can't do Noivern anymore. They're basically just down to this Arceus. This is all they have left. They bench an Arc V. I don't think I'm winning with boss anytime soon, but still, that's good, I guess. Okay, we're doing 260. Yeah, if I can find Explorer's Guidance here, we probably just win. We just promote Moon and just pray we get Explorer's Guidance. There's no way they can tank a hit with anything. Once, yeah, so we should be okay. Okay. So Explorer's Guidance top deck probably wins me the game here. Let's see it. There it is. All right, here we go. Super Rod. Uh, might as well put Moon back. Get double energy. I guess getting the moon back reduces the damage, but I do need another Roaring Moon in play because I need to make sure I'm doing damage here. 250, 260, plus two. So I need to discard two cards, basically. Ooh, I... Don't... Oh, did I actually whiff? I think I whiffed. Bro, I'm 10 off. No way! So I had a... Oh my god, I whiffed. I actually whiffed the knockout. <laughs> That's hilarious. Honestly, not a big deal. Should be okay, though. That's actually pretty funny we actually whiffed. Okay. I guess I could have concealed cards, try to get there. It's fine. I don't think they can really win anyways at this point. Um, yeah, we needed one other ancient card and we whiffed. Okay, we, sh we should have game. Yeah, we should have game. There's no way they can like, noivern me this turn. I it should be fine. There's nothing they can really do. Should be fine. Should be fine. Eerie, sure. I got a dark energy. It don't matter. Hmm. They have to retreat with a double turbo, but the double turbo doesn't allow them to KO me. So they're kind of stuck. They're kind of stuck. They have to attack with the active, which I knock out and I win. Yeah, that's game. All right, cool. This matchup is scary, dude. The Noivern is really bad. Basically, we had to play around the Noivern or play into the Noivern with the countercatcher. They did prize Noibat, it looks like, which was really lucky for us. Um, I think we did a good job playing to our outs here, and it paid off in the end. Yeah, another energy is pretty good, and that's game. I guess, like, had I not super audited that Roaring Moon back, I would have had the KO. But on the off chance we whiff, I just wanted to make sure I have Roaring Moons in play. I want to make sure we have attackers in play, which I think is it was fine to put the Roaring Moon out. And I didn't even really need to go for the knockout there anyways, right? The Dark on the bench didn't have two energy on it. So they had to go double turbo, which means they can't kill my active. They can't stall me because I have energy in the deck still. There really wasn't much they could do anyways. I didn't have to win that turn. And I think it was better to play it safe, just keep getting Moons in play, keep making sure I had attackers in play, because... That's all I really need to do is just attack every turn. My opponent can't keep up with the pressure. And eventually, we were going to get the KO, right? So it was inevitable. All right, we're going second here. Uh, my opponent comes out of Rodom and a Capuchin Aroma. No idea what I'm... Is Charizard, I guess? I don't know. This is the only other deck I can think of. Our start's fine. We can uh, get a couple things. Okay, it looks like it's probably Charizard. It's my uh, best guess. Do they have a Buddy Poffin? No, they just instant charge. Okay, thankfully they didn't have anything. What do we top deck here? Something good, I hope. Okay, dark energy. We can grab Greninja. Sure. I don't think we're going to go for the turn one attack. There's not really a point. 
but we'll just try to draw more cards. Okay. Explore's Guidance. Well, I don't want to take Artisan. Probably have to take the other Guidance, to be honest. Kind of a weak uh, Guidance. I was hoping for maybe a Sada. It's fine. We'll play the Pokey Stop. See if we can find a Vessel here or something. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, well, Vessel... Yeah, we got the Cobalion. We did prize one Roaring Moon, which could be relevant. Could be relevant. We'll just see. Yeah, I can't really get my opponent an Artisan, obviously. They didn't get a turn one. Obviously, they're going to get Charmanders down now, but I can't really afford to play the Artisan and give them too good of a board state, assuming this is Charizard, which I imagine it is. I'm, I don't think they're playing Control. I don't think they're playing like a Control. Like, it's definitely Charizard. Really? Another Instant Charge? They actually have nothing. Okay, well, I can't win this turn, can I? Probably not. That was a good top deck. Finally get a Roaring Moon. And I think we're just going to explore his Guidance again. Hmm. Take these two. I have Palpad here, which we'll probably just go ahead and play. Touch that. Greninja. Let's see if I can get another Moon. Nope. Another vessel. Uh, the ancient booster capsules don't matter too much. I don't think. Okay, sure. And then we'll pal pad. And then... I think I'll just swing. Not doing a whole lot of damage. We don't really have to do a lot to this Rotom. It's, we're not really counting anytime soon. My opponent hasn't even benched anything yet. I don't know what's going on. They somehow did not get a Buddy Pop in last turn, which is crazy. There's Pokestop. Ooh. Double Rare Candy. Okay, wow. Pretty good. I don't have Hand Disruption. I can do nothing about that, unfortunately. That's a pretty good Pokestop. But if they don't retreat Rodon, we can knock it out here with Coridon. They're definitely going to retreat it, though, obviously. Yeah, they're probably going to go Force Heal, Double Buddy Pop in, yeah. Surprised they didn't get that earlier. That was kind of crazy, to be honest, that they didn't get a Buddy Puff in on their first turn. Okay, we'll see what they do here. They have a 15-card hand. They have a huge hand right now. They could Eerie me, maybe. If they're playing Eerie, that could be a little scary. No, they're going to TM Evo, which actually means we will get to KO Rodom. Potentially. I'm not, not guaranteed, but all we need is one, one Ancient Pokemon, and the Rodom's dead. Should be able to find interesting no they're gonna instant charge they're not even gonna play the team evil i mean well they have double candy in hand who really cares but it's like kind of funny all righty then all right there's ultra ball that guarantees an attack all right let's do this see what we got nice another coridon i mean i don't want to get a second moon because they might, they might boss kill moon next turn they're definitely gonna boss kill my moon i think we should get a second moon Yeah, they're definitely going to boss Kale Moon. There's no way they're not going to boss Kale Moon next turn. I don't really see a reason to play Dark Patch. I could spread the energy out one to one. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Sure. Can play the Pokestop. No, I think it's fine. I don't really need to play Pokestop here. We'll just knock out the Rotom. Makes it easier to win getting these two prizes. All right. They probably couldn't even do Team Diva. Uh, the more I think about it, they probably couldn't even do the Team Evo because their hand was full of Pokemon evolutions. They have a massive hand. They basically have their whole deck in their hand. Honestly, I maybe should have super rotted there. Nah, I don't think so. I don't know. I'm scared of Eerie. I don't know what they have in their deck, though. That's the problem. If we get Eerie here, it's a little annoying. They can get rid of Countercatcher or Super Rod or Nest Ball Super Rod, which would be pretty annoying. There's her candy Charizard. All right, here it is. Let's see what else they got. Let's see. They have a huge hand. They, they could do anything this turn but the question is what are they gonna do because they might Iono me that's why I didn't want to play Pokestop there's no reason to because I don't want to mill any of my supporters so I will right, see what they go for is it gonna be an Eerie is it gonna be a, an Iono is it gonna be a boss it's gonna be one of those three I guarantee you Eerie boss or Iono no a buddy poffin sure All right. Now what? 
Is it gonna be a knockout? What's bro cooking? There's no way they're not gonna play a supporter, right? There's gotta be no way. Counter catcher? No, they are gonna gust. Okay. It's actually gonna kill my Greninja here. Interesting. Okay, they're gonna oh, I see. They're gonna Iono kill Greninja. That's fine. Now I can actually bench more Pokemon and do more damage. That's good. I actually don't hate this on my end. We got Rod anyways. It's pretty good. Do they have a stadium? That could be a problem. Caption Aroma. Tails. Okay. It's an interesting Zard list. I'm surprised that Rodom instant charged three times, but okay. This is a very crazy game. Yeah, losing Greninja is not ideal. We can rot it back, I guess. Worst comes to worst. One thing I want to do, I, if I fall behind, we can try to kill the Pidgeot with Roaring Moon at some point. It might be a little hard to do, but we can definitely get to that. Or we can try to take out their Bibrol, maybe. I don't know. It's probably not worth it. I think we just want to go 2 2 2. 2 2 2 is the win con, I think. And we just swing with Coridon, obviously. No reason to go Moon. They're going to go after my Moons every turn. I think that's going to be their next step is Pidgeot. But we'll see what we draw. Pokey Gear. Okay, so. I'm going to start the turn off with the Guidance. I'm not going to shuffle the deck. Take these. Kind of wanted that Nest Ball, to be honest, but Explorer's Guidance is pretty good. Or Awakening Drum Story is pretty good. Roll the Pokey Stop. I do have the Super Rod, so it's fine. And look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> a lot of Pokemon. The Cobalion is not a great discard. In fact, now I think we're going to play the Super Rod. Get these back. I don't know if I really needed the Greninja, but it doesn't hurt to have. Do I really want to Ultra Ball here? Dude, every card in the hand is good. I'm just going to wait and drum for four. Okay. Hmm. It's an interesting Awakening Drum. Grab a third moon. We don't need the Cobalion just yet. Especially because they might boss it. We're definitely two-shotting them. Um, i trying to think. Uh, put that there. I'll swing for 150. All right. Let's see what they go for. Is it going to be boss? Do they play Prime Catcher? They can still hand a shot plus Prime Catcher. We'll see what they end up doing. We have a nice big fat discard pile now. We got, what, four, seven, no, yeah, four, seven, eight, twelve, seventeen ancient cards so far in the discard pile. So we're doing a lot of damage right now with Roaring Moon. We have boss in hand. I don't think we're going to be able to boss next turn for a KO, but you never know. It's not, I think it's too risky to play Pokestop. At this point, the Pokestop is, unless we really have to, we're not going to play it again. Because I don't want to mill the Cobalion. Let's see what they do. There's definitely a boss this turn. There's no way they're not bossing me here. I don't know, I maybe shouldn't have attached the energy, but then they, like, Iono me. I think we just attach the energy and just go for it. I could have put the energy on the other Coridon, maybe. But yeah, I was going to say, there's no way they're not just going to boss this turn. It was, like, the most obvious thing. But, it's fine. We can go Roaring Moon, Knockout, Charizard. They can't disrupt my hand. It's not bad. This isn't bad. I think we just knock out Charizard here. We have a pretty good lead on my opponent now, which is nice. If they have, like, Turo in the deck, maybe it gets a little sketchy, but they have evolved the Charmeleon, so I, I don't know. We'll see what's up. My opponent does have some stuff. They have a lot of it. What the heck? How much energy is that? Four, five, seven, eight energy. It should be the last of their energy. Okay, so... We just KO with Roaring Moon. We Sada. Okay, this is good. And then if they don't Iona, we have the boss for next turn. We have a lot of time to win, basically, is what I'm getting at. So let's Sada. Go boom, boom. Let's see what we got here. Counter catcher, boss. Okay. Yeah, we're doing 260. We should be able to win in... Uh, well, I need to mill one more Ancient card, and I have game next turn on the Charizard. Or the Pidgeot, sorry. I don't think I can do enough damage quite yet to KO. Well, can I win next turn with a Roaring Moon if I go Cobalion? We'll see what our two prizes are. Okay. They're going to Iono me here. Honestly, it was pretty bad we drew the boss. The Countercatcher is kind of useless, I guess. Well, it's not. No, nah, actually, that's a lie. It's still good. Vacuum. Sure. I wasn't really going to play the Pokey. Actually, no. Nah, Pokey Stop would have been good. Honestly. Yeah, no, I actually might have needed that because I actually might have been able to win if I go Pokestop plus enough combo pieces. It is possible to kill the Charizard. We'll see what they do. We got Greninja down, which is good. 
Worst comes to worst, we can swing with Coridon. Which is, like, perfectly fine. Go Coridon, Cobalion. Could be nice. Get some extra damage on. There's Arvin. My other Super Odds in the deck. I can still get Roaring Moon back. I did prize my, my fourth Moon, which kind of sucks. Actually, the fact they Arvind means they're not Ionoing me. Which means I win the game if I can put one Ancient card in the discard pile here. Hmm. Can I do it? Yeah, they Arvin. They're not Ionoing. Okay. I win the game if I can get one Ancient card in the discard. Because they're going to knock me out. And I am going to be doing 270 damage. I maybe can knock out Charizard. It's unlikely, though. Do I have any Ultra Balls left? Nope. Don't think I'm... Uh, even with Cobalion, it's going to be close. We'll see. We'll see. How much energy are they playing? What the fudge? I just realized. Two on the Bibril now? Okay. We can go Moons. I still have Rod in the deck I can draw. Okay. What do we draw? There's the Cobalion. Dude, I'm so close. Uh, I'm going to see what I have in the deck first. Guidance... Flutter main. Damn, I have no way to win. Had had they kept the Pokey Stop in play, I could have won the game this turn. Because I could have just Pokey Stopped, guaranteed Flutter main or Guidance and won the game on the Pidgeot. All right, rip. There's no way to win this turn. No way to win, yeah. That's fine. Still hitting the active is just really good. Bench Cobalion. Three hundred damage. Three ten with this. Even with the guidance, yeah, it's not enough. Ten off, man. So close. We have game in hand, so let's just smack the Charizard. Maybe I shouldn't have benched the Cobalion. I still have a rod. I can still retreat it. As long as I can retreat the Cobalion, it doesn't really matter. I can't really stall it. And we can just retreat Cobalion if they try to stall it. That's why I didn't Sada, because I don't want to... There's no point of playing Sada. Turo. They do play Turo. Okay, that's annoying. We still have the Cobalion in play. We still have time to win the game. It's so annoying, though. Healing 300 HP Pokemon is not fun. Okay, I can't win next turn. Which is pretty bad. Actually, now we might lose because of that Turo. That Turo might have just gave my opponent the edge they needed to win this game. Maybe I should have swung with Coridon. But even then, I don't think I was going to... No, I should have swung Coridon now. I didn't expect a Turo, though. Like, you just don't know what these Charizard lists are playing. And the stupid Turo. Okay, well, now I probably do lose. Because I don't think I can one-shot a Charizard. I'm not behind in prize. I can't go Countercatch a... I could Countercatch a boss for game, I guess. How many candies are they down? Three. That is an option, I guess. We could try to just counter catch our boss. But I need to get a Moon or Flutter Mane in play to make that work. Yeah, this is bad. I don't think we're going to win this, folks. It's not looking good. My opponent might have just checkmated me with that Turo, to be honest. I needed them to just not have a Turo, and they obviously had it. Yeah, this is not good. I uh, don't like this. Being able to heal a 330 HP Pokemon that you can't one-shot feels really bad. It might have been better to go Coridon there. It wouldn't matter because they were just boss anyways. I think we were kind of screwed anyways. Well, let's see what our top deck is. Nest Ball. We can Nest Ball here for Flutter Mane. Then I can... I can't, pull, I can't go boss counter catcher though. That's the problem. I think it has to be a two-shot angle no matter what. I think we lose. That Turo, yeah. We just... We lost because they Turoed, I think. I, I actually don't think I have a way to win. <laughs> I think we're screwed. We can play the Guidance. Play the Rod. But now they can just stall my Cobalion. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it's an L... So if I put two energy back, I need to do 150, and I 
or 180. Putting two moons back doesn't make a difference, right? So I swing with the Cobalion. I'm only doing 150, though. It's not enough to two-shot. But I can... If I was two-shotting Pidgeot, I could have gusted it twice. I could have boss punch, and then... Yeah. I'm trying to think of a way out. I don't think there is a way out. I don't think there's a way out. The best I can do is do this. Hit for 150, but they just win next turn. I have no way to one-shot this Charizard, because my board is clogged up. Yeah. The Greninja being in play might have cost me the game. If that was an ancient Pokemon, I could have two-shot Charizard. Now we just lose. Now they just go Pidgeot, Boss Kale, Roy Moon, and I lose. There's no way I can win. See, this is why the Charizard matchup is tough, man. Like, they just have too much health, dude. They have too much health. It's ridiculous. This is why this matchup is hard. They, the Charizard just can't be KO'd. I basically got to hope they don't boss this turn, but they obviously just boss, and I lose. There's no way they're not bossing me here. How much energy are they playing, bro? What the heck? They have so much energy. Yeah, if they don't boss me, I mean... We win if they don't boss, but they definitely have a boss in hand. Nothing I can do. Coridon just can't do enough damage, unfortunately. They can retreat into another Charizard. It's it's not looking good. If they don't boss my moon, I think I'm still short. And they have boss in hand anyways. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we basically have no way to win. I'm literally just short on the Charizard KO. I can't stall or anything. I think we just have to lose. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Even though I can get this other moon down, I'm still only doing 150. The Greninja. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the dub. They they turrowed. I think I should have went Coridon instead of Moon that other turn. I didn't expect a Turo, though. That's the issue. The fact they had Turo is just ridiculous. I can't do anything about that. There you go, folks. That is Ancient Box in action. As you can see, the deck is very strong. When it gets rolling, it can do some big damage. But even though we can do some big damage, we still fell short against Charizard EX, unfortunately. I mean, that it just has too much HP. I think really prizing the other moon costs us a game. And, of course, a Turo scenario. Most Ardless don't play Turo. Them having Turo did end up costing us the game because we had essentially game in hand if they didn't Turo there. I could have easily have just bossed out that Charizard. It was close. And even with the Cobalion, you're still just short. So maybe cutting the Cobalion out of the deck is optimal for, like, another Ancient card. That could be decent, too, to help against Charizard. But that was me on my Roaring Moon Ancient Box deck with Coridon. If you all enjoyed the video on Ancient Box, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Help me on we're reaching 59,000 subs. We're getting super close to 60k subs. Make sure to subscribe down below. Check our card cabin. If you have any codes, use Score LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shuffle Squad, and the second channel down below. We're going to have a video out very soon where we look at every single deck that got day two at EYC, most likely including a couple of ancient box decks that got day two at EYC. Thanks for watching the video. If you all enjoyed the video, once again, leave a like, and I'll catch you all on another Temporal Forces video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.